Parameters are a great way of keeping track of dimensions in your model. They are an important part of parametric modeling and allow you to make modifications more systematically. Now there are a couple of different ways of using parameters. Suppose that you already have the critical dimensions in mind. You can immediately go to Modify, Change Parameters. Under User Parameters, click on the plus sign to add a new parameter. In this case, we are going to define the length and set the value. We are going to further add the parameters for the width and the depth of extrusion. Next, let's create a sketch rectangle on the front plane. At this point, while the length dimension of the rectangle is active, instead of entering a specific figure, we can type in the word length. Notice that as soon as I type in L, Fusion360 immediately guesses that I am trying to use a previously defined parameter. Hit Enter to accept, and then hit the Tab key to shift to the next dimension. Start typing in width and accept the suggested parameter in the same fashion. You can see that the actual values of the parameters are on display here. We shall exit out of the sketch and move on to create an extrusion. Again, with the dimension field active, type in depth, hit enter to accept the use of this parameter. The true power of this workflow can be demonstrated by going back into the parameters dialog box and changing the values. You can see that the model updates dynamically. This method allows you to give your dimensions names that make sense, which makes it easier to track down the relevant dimension to change it if the project calls for it down the road. You can also create parameters with mathematical relationships with one another. For example, you can create a parameter called x that is 2 times the length. To do this, there is no need to enter an equal sign before your expression. Just type in the expression and use an asterisk to denote the multiplication operation. You can also define parameters after the model has been completed. I'm going to quickly create a model with arbitrary dimensions. After the model is done, go into parameters in this case, all dimensions will be populated under model parameters. At this point, you can click on their names to modify them accordingly. It is a good idea to favorite any dimension that you foresee will be reused. Let's favorite the length in this case and see how that benefits us. Suppose that we need to create a cylinder on this face that has a diameter equal to that of the length of the existing model. Again, with the dimension field active, type in length. And as before, Fusion360 anticipates that we want to use a length parameter. And we can accept by pressing enter. Suppose that we need a circle with a diameter that matches the width. Notice that as we type in width, Fusion360 does not prompt us with a suitable parameter. However, if we continue to type width in full and hit enter, it is still able to recognize the parameter and set the value accordingly. So this demonstrates the benefit of setting dimensions as favorites if you think that you are going to invoke them often. 
Besides dimensions, parameters can also be used to set the number of pattern instances. In this case, I will set a parameter called pattern with a value of 10. This will be an integer without any units. If I want to have a pattern on a path of this body, in the quantity field, I can start typing in pattern. As before, when a suitable parameter comes up, we can accept. We can also change this in the parameters dialog box when necessary.